The power to break sin is not external, it's internal. It's the law of the spirit of life. When we draw you to God and teach you truth, show you the way of prayer, we now expect you to become sensitive to the motions. Because what made you sin is the motion of sin. The same way the motion of sin kept you in sin, the law of the spirit of life is the only thing within you that can break it. Our teaching the word of God, our exposing you to prayer and fasting is just an external trigger to the internal reality. If you don't respond to the law of the spirit of life, you will never live above sin. Just the same way you see pornography, it triggers lust that was already inside. If lust was not in you, there is no pornography you watch that would have made you sin. The reason you are sinning is because lust was there. The pornography only triggered it. That's how prayer, fasting, the word of God, will trigger the law of the spirit of life. And when you meet people, or one person may be lying or fornicating, the law of the spirit of life will now tell him to start giving. He won't even prescribe fasting. He won't even prescribe prayer. The reason he's sinning is because he's self-centered. And the thing God will do to break that self-centeredness is to bring liberality as a strange economy to his soul. And so that law will tell him to become liberal. Every money he has, the law says give it out. He gives, the more self-centeredness is broken. And when self-centeredness is broken, the lost will die. If you take that rule and give to another person, you have added another law to him. It won't work. The other person, God may tell him to pray at night. Because the reason he's living in sin is because he's lazy. He's weak. So his spiritual senses are dormant. And so God will place a demand to pray at night. As he starts rising to pray at night, his spirit becomes sober. His spirit becomes alert. That alertness of spirit becomes an energy above lust. Another person, the law of life, will prescribe to become vitally connected to the fellowship. Because what he needs is to be inspired from the environment. And so, the more he comes to the fellowship, maybe all he's doing is cleaning the chairs. It's not even fasting and prayer. But as he's doing it, he's seeing one brother praying in tongues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He will now say, okay, maybe he's asking God for a job. He will come next week. The same brother. Bah, 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 bah. He will come another week. Bah, bah, bah. He will now ask himself, wait, is it possible for a human being to pray like this? That brother now is in salvation. But the law of the spirit of life told him to serve. Because it is in service that he will see that brother. What will deliver him is just to watch this brother pray. And as he's watching this brother pray, after four weeks he will now go home. He will be sleeping. And he will begin to have visions of himself praying like that. And then in his room he will start praying like that brother. He will start praying like that brother. Suddenly the power of God will now man to him. God has used that brother's spirituality to bring him into deliverance. It is not even the message he's hearing, but the spirit, the law of the spirit of life knows the area of your weakness depending on the effect of the fall on your soul. Because three drunkards will not be delivered the same way. Three fornicators will not be delivered the same way. The impact of the fall is different on the soul of everybody. And the only thing that is peculiar to you enough to isolate that impact and diagonize it correctly to give you prescription to remedy it is a law that is already on your inside. Because when the law of the spirit of life is activated, it will show you a protocol. Some people's protocol will be prayer. Some people's protocol will be worship. Some people's protocol will be revelation. Some people's protocol will be giving. That protocol is what that law rides on. And so when it starts, it will be stirring that thing. The more you worship, the more stronger it becomes. And you will wake up in the morning with a song. You will sleep with a song. You are not singing a song. You are chanting a rhythm. A rhythm that awakens you to God. They are telling people that this law brings their tongue under so much pressure to pray. That they pray even when they are in a meeting. In the midst of a meeting. Because their life depends on it. It becomes stronger than the breath on their nose. If you don't live like that, you can never overcome sin. Because sin is spiritual. Sin is organic. And so the only way you can overpower sin is to find something that is organic on your inside. The first thing God did to me that began to break the power of sin in my life was sound. 
If I hear any song that is sorrowful, ah, I can sing it for one year. That's why my best singers are South Africans. When they draw that thing like sorrow, I can even keep that part of the song and repeat it. As they are drawing it, as they are drawing it, as they are drawing it, something is rising on my inside. Sometimes I'm hearing the song and singing and crying. When I rise up, I rise up as a lion. Because that thing was a spiritual ritual provoking something on my inside. I don't hear every song. No. The kind of songs I hear, they are sorrowful songs. They are like deep, they, they come like echoes of deep waters. They will draw your soul to a quiet place, a lonely place in the spirit. And your soul will be there until the Holy Ghost shows up. And meet you, you will have an intercourse there. And when you come out, something will be born. There was a song somebody played for me. It's a it's a dancing song. He said, "Where's darkness at the side of the light?" It's a great song. Have at the gleams of light. There's a light that makes my face shine bright. As I look your face, I become the light. I say, "Wow, great song! I love the voice." Until I started hearing. I said, where is this guy going to? I now heard the one that touched me. I See, as I heard it, my spirit came alive. It's not about the song. When I hear, I hear, Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That one sound can take me to a place where four hours of tongues can take me, because that's the God, that's the door that the Holy Ghost opened for me. And so when I begin to journey in those deep waters, those lonely paths, those dark alleys, only the Holy Ghost can bring light. That's where my soul journey to, and I'm separated from the world. And so when you come, I heap those songs. I heap them. Sometimes they cut them, cut them and keep for me. And they are on repeat. They are rivers, deep waters. There are certain people here where it's only high powered prayer that can awaken your spirit. And so when people are praying, Labro, Sabra, Hebra, Kira, you say, well done, keep praying. Until you hear somebody enter a frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Then that sound is like it's like a, an engine room. It wakens your lion. You hear it and something happens. If you want to live above sin, you will gather those kind of tongues. Every time that person praying in tongue, go and cut it. And let it play for four hours. Just be there. What it's doing is, uh, is tearing your spirit. Stirring your spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Water. Hele. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a, it's, this is life. This is life. You can't teach it. You can't say it. You have to experience it. And so you will need a vehicle that will take you there. But when you find that place, stay there. Stay there. There are some of you here that forever and ever you will keep listening and praying in tongues. That's the only way you will live above sin. Because the law of the spirit of life works on that vehicle. There are some of you here that there are certain sounds you will hear. In fact, there are certain music ministers that you will need to keep praying for, for God to keep giving them songs. Because so long as they are singing, you will be alive. It's a mystery, but it's a reality in the spirit. Imole deo Okuku parada See, even your friends, you will select them based on these things. There are some friends that you have, if they call you, before they say hello, it's Tahiva, Rarak, Tatatata, 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 Zorak, 
some of you is light and revelation so there are some people you keep hearing as you are hearing them because their words is no longer english see there are three kinds of things that come on the walls of men that know god there are certain men that when they talk they communicate the presence of god because the voice of god carries the presence there are certain men that when they talk they communicate fire when you hear them it pierces the soul because the voice of god is fire there are certain men that when they speak their voice is like many waters it draws you to the deep and so the reason you hear them is not because you love them your life depends on those sounds you will select your friends based on how they align to the law of the spirit of life that is in your soul that's why me i'm close to certain people sometimes i will go and look for those he say i'm in the studio where i will go there and then as we are talking we are talking after a while he will now sit on the keyboard holy 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 are you lord holy 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 are you lord as he's singing this song my spirit it will look as if a a a a, a wall is breaking and my spirit is coming out coming out to find the expression after a while i will ascend oh! for the next one week i will be dispensing fire because somebody that knows how to find my soul you see the soul has frequency there is something that will get the resonance and when that resonance is attained life pours forth if you were blessed by this message you just listened to and you wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, kindly repeat the prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that He died for my sins and was raised from the dead for my justification. I therefore confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said this prayer, please send us an email at info at encounterjesusministry.org or info.ejmi.ng at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at www.encounterjesusministry.org.